guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is Monica and today I'm just really really excited <laughs> not only am I using a new palette that I've been extremely excited for I'm also doing a new video on my channel it's not new to YouTube definitely it is a palette roulette and it's going to be a palette roulette with the new Kat Von D 10th anniversary palette I have not touched this palette yet I just got it in the mail a couple of days ago and it took all of the self-control in my life that I've ever had to not touch it until now. I haven't even swatched it yet. This is the palette right here. <laughs> so this is actually my first Kat Von D eye like full palette. I have a couple of her little quads but I've never gotten one of her limited edition palettes before. It just looks beautiful and the first thing I thought when I saw this palette is I gotta do a palette roulette like this is going to be my first palette roulette it is a beautiful palette and I cannot wait to jump in so real quick the rest of this look I'm really feeling it I don't know what's with like this the space buns and this flower crown I actually got this flower crown custom made off of Etsy a couple of years ago and it's supposed to be like Dionysus themed hence like the blood splatter and the grapes and Ah, oh god, I love it. So like this is me right now. I'm loving the lace and oh, okay. Hmm. I might be feeling myself just a little too much in this video, but I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> so my entire face is primed and ready. So before we go and picked out, picked out, before we go and pick out the shades that I'm going to be using for this palette roulette, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this idea and if you want to see any more palette roulettes in the future, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Alrighty, so I'm taking a page from LS's book and using random.org on my phone to pick out the shades. The way that I am counting them, there are 16 shades, so I'm starting with this brown shade right here as one, going through to eight right here, nine, and then 16 down here at the blue. So random.org, pick my first shade. Number seven. <gasps> one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the green! We got one of the greens. Oh, this is gonna be great. So the first shade that I got, can I count? Lala, I think is what this is called. It's like an olive green. So let me swatch it. Okay, so I built the swatch up a little bit so you could see it. It is this beautiful, like, olive army green. I could work with that. And it's also a matte. I can work with that. All right, random.org gods. Our next shade. Number one. Okay, we got the brown. We got the brown. Looks like we're gonna go for, like, an earthy tone look today. Okay, so that is our army green, which is our first shade, and then number two is our brown shade. I think I'm going to pick out two more, and then I'll have the four that I have to use, and then I can pull in anything else from the rest of the palette if I want to. Okay, shade number three is going to be number 11. Where are you, lucky number 11? And it's another matte shade. It's like a matte dusty rose kind of shade. Okay, okay, that's a little different still. Oh, that actually looks really pretty together. Yeah, it's like a dark, not mauve, but it's like a salmon-y color. So that's the one right there. Now I'm hoping I get one of the shimmers, <laughs> but we'll see, you'll see. All right, our last shade is number 15. All right, no, number 15. Okay, we got another matte. <laughs> Let's, ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that looks stunning. But now I'm a little confused, but it's stunning. I think I think I know where I'm going to go with this. I do. I'm definitely going to pull in. Actually, no, I don't know if I am. Okay. So these are the four shades that we are going to be working with today. We've got our army green, we've got our brown, we've got like our salmon-y rose shade, and then we have like this beautiful like deep matte teal. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the swatches off of my fingers and I'll leave them on my hand just for reference throughout the video. So like I said earlier, I've already primed. The rest of my face is pretty much done. I've done this for another video, which will be coming up at the end of this week. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. But for my eyes, I've already primed them with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And then I set it with my face powder, which is the Rimmel Stay Matte. So I think first I'm gonna jump into the like salmon-y 
color that I got, number three, and I'm gonna just throw that all up in my transition. Going in with the big fluffy brush, there is some kickback. It's actually like a really pretty, like natural transition shade. That would actually be perfect for like a no makeup makeup day. Like if you just throw that in your crease, maybe deepen it up a little bit with a darker, like not a brown, but something. That looks really pretty. Okay, now that I have my transition in, I'm gonna take a Sigma E25 and jump into my first shade, which is that like olive or army green. I'm gonna start, oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna start just building this up in my transition and crease as well. For me, since I have hooded eyes, whenever I say transition, I mean like my fake crease. Which, if you have hooded eyes, you know that you kind of have to create a crease for yourself because you, we don't really have one. That looks really pretty. Oh my god. Okay. Let's do the same thing. These are blending out like a dream. So that's all blended out. I honestly don't know if I want to add the brown and kind of like deepen it up or if I want to put on like a brown liquid liner and smudge it out with the brown. Because I think that would look really pretty. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. We're going to put on... I have the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in brown. I'm going to put that on and then smudge it out with the brown shade. Where's my smudger brush? Smudger brush. Oh my god, that came out so pretty. I'm glad I did that. See, it gives it a nice soft look. Yep, yep. Definitely going to go ahead and do that on the other eye. Okay, so we're back. I actually messed up on the liner on this eye and I made it a lot thicker than I was hoping to, but then I smudged it out with the brown shade and it looked so pretty that I went and I did the same thing on the other eye. I thickened it up and then smudged it out and it looks really good. So that's one thing. Not every mistake that you make with makeup is like an actual mistake. Sometimes you just have to get outside of your comfort zone and see something new and it ends up actually like being better than what you are planning on doing. So I'm actually really glad that that happened because it looks really nice. And now I'm going to take the last shade that I got, this teal shade, and I'm just going to do it on my lower lash line. Um, while we were on the break, I also just threw on some mascara. I don't really feel like falsies with this look because I do want it to be not quite natural, but I do want it to focus more on the shadows than on the lashes. So I'm just going to take a short shader brush and dip into this teal, which is oof, super powdery. And we're going to put it on the lower lash line. Let's see. I'm going to leave it right there. I don't want to take it in too far because it is so dark, but that looks really pretty on like the outer half of the eye. And I think I need a pop of color on the inner, on the inner corner. You know what, I think I'm gonna take the gold shade right here. This, I don't, I can't read this backwards. One, two, three, four, five. The shade Egypt, I think. And I'm just gonna do that on my inner corner. Oh, that just brought everything together. Oh my god, it looks really pretty. So I just finished off the look with a little bit of a light pink gloss and I'm loving it. I love that the roulette really made me pick the shades that wouldn't have drawn me first. Like honestly, looking at this palette, I would have jumped in first with the greens, all the greens, and then probably the blues, and then I would have jumped into the warm shades over here. I don't think I would have gone straight for A, kind of all mattes, and B, mixing like the brown and the salmon and the green and the blue. Like I think that really got me out of my traditional zone and I'm loving how it turned out. It's a little bit neutral since the only really bright pop was the blue, but I love it and I had a whole lot of fun doing this. I keep looking at myself because I'm just loving this whole look. The flower crown, the, the space buns, the, the gloss, the eyes. I'm living for the look today, guys. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I hope if you like this video, you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye.